Hi guys, it's Jody. Today's video, I've got some new paints I want to try out, so I want to have some fun with that doing a palette knife swipe. I want to use the white cell activator to kind of create a softer look, but I have some fun summery type colors that I want to play around with, so that is what we're going to do today. So let's go get started having some fun. All right, this piece we're going to do, this is a 9 by 12 canvas. And I have it secured with a little bit of pillow paint on my dry spinner. So once the paint starts flowing, it'll it'll adhere more as I'm moving it around. But I usually stick some pillow paint on there. And the pillow we're going to be using is the Glidden Premium in Satin. Uh-oh. I just saw a big chunk of something go in there. I have to fish that out. Do not want that. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. Do not want that drying in there. And I'm gonna do a palette knife swipe for this. You know what, I want a little bit more. Just a little bit more around the edge. Here we go. That should be enough. <clears throat> Let me just move this out just a little. As I put paint on there, it, I think it'll be enough. I don't have a lot left in my little container here, but this should be plenty for, for what we're gonna do. I wanna do a palette knife swipe where I put everything on here. My idea today is I wanna use the white cell activator, similar to a few videos ago when I was um, testing out the Valspar. <clears throat> With the US Floetrol cell activator, uh, on the swipes, I had used the white cell activator, so it kind of gave this really soft effect. And so I want to use some fun kind of summery colors. I got some new paints that I wanted to try out, and I'll show you them. But I wanted to pair it with the white cell activator to kind of give it a soft look. So we're going to see how that goes today. So I'm going to show you all of the paints now because we're going to load it up onto the palette knife. And the paints I got, uh, a, uh, a friend of mine sent me some of these to try out. They are Praj Posse paints. Uh, if any of you know Christina Welch here on YouTube, she sells these paints. I will link her YouTube channel down below. She's an amazing artist. So if you don't know her by chance, go check out her YouTube channel. But she also makes these paints and sells them. And... You can probably get more information about uh, buying them on her channel. So I'll just show you the containers and what the paint looks like and how I have it mixed up. So the first one is called Lemon Lime Shimmer. And it kind of comes in a container like that. It's, let me show you the consistency because they're all pretty similar. It's, you know, it's, it's, it's not a fluid, but it's not completely, you know, it does have some give to it. So really what I did was... <clears throat> I mixed about an ounce and a half of my pouring medium with probably a dollop like that of the paint. You know, if I needed to add just a smidge more. But that's basically how I, and they mixed up just beautifully. Here is, here's that lemon lime. It's been sitting a few days, so it has thickened up just a touch, but it's, I mean, it just flows super nice off the stick, so... Uh, we're going to roll with this. <clears throat> but the pouring medium mix is the Valspar High Gloss with the Verithane Triple Thick. Everything will be listed uh, at the beginning of the video and also down below in the description box. And the next one is called Shelly's Masquerade Shimmer. And I'll just show you what it looks like in there. I'm not going to uh, put a stick in there because they're, they're all very similar in consistency just the paint itself and then here it is mixed up with with the pouring medium and then I have a <clears throat> a fluid paint I'm back to using up the Utrecht this Utrecht fluid acrylic the red violet I love this but I'm being told now I thought it was originally the red violet that they just stopped making or it was unavailable um, on Dick Blick this is their brand but apparently they are trying to get rid of all their fluids. I don't know if they're going to rebrand them, but this is no longer on their site. I would recommend if you're looking for a similar color, the Golden Fluid Quinacridone Violet is very similar to 
this red violet. However, this is what we're using. I've got two or three bottles of this left and I had this already mixed up. So we're just gonna go with it. This has been mixed up for a little bit. This was part of my <laughs> part of my ever test. So I wanna I wanna get that used up. All right, the next Parage Posse paint I have is 2021 Beach Retreat Shimmer. And I will show you what the paint looks like in the container. And then just taking the dollop of it and putting it in my pouring medium thins out really nicely, has a nice consistency that you can see that. And then finally, um, chestnut bronze. That's what it looks like in the container. And this is what it looks like mixed up in the consistency, really nice consistency. <clears throat> and then my cell activator, I'm going to be using, like I said, the white. So it's Australian Floetrol with the Amsterdam Titanium White mixed at four to one. And there's that. So I am going to load up my palette knife now and we're going to get this swipe on the road. <clears throat> All right. Whoa, kind of like that. I, I have the cell activator, the white cell activator first, and then I put down the green, the green, yellow, lemon, lime. Then the darker blue, the Shelly's Masquerade Shimmer, the Quinacridone Violet, then the lighter blue, and then the copper, or I'm sorry, the bronze. It looks like copper to me, but it is bronze. And I am going to go right here. Quick executive decision. Oh, I really like how that came out. I think I might <clears throat> move, extend this out a little with a smaller one, but I want to do, I think I want to do one more big swipe right here. And I've got something right in there I have to dig out. And then I might do maybe a smaller one here. All right, I'm gonna, before I load up that, <clears throat> palette knife again. I'm going to take, I don't have anything on this one. I'm just going to try and move some of this just to get a little more going on there. Same here. That's better. Let that develop. And I'm going to load up my palette knife again for down here. Same order I just did for the other one. And I think I want to go right here. love when it kind of gets little shadow cells in there. I kind of want, I'm hoping to have negative space. I don't know if I want to, I think I might do something just right here and then we're going to be good. I think I'll use this one. And I don't know that I'm going to put every color on. I'll let you know. All right. There's that. I put every color on, same order, except for the copper. I forewent, I forewent that. And I think I want to... Go like that. This is filling in really nicely. <clears throat> I don't know that I want to do any, um, really any modifications. I want to try 
line that just a little like that. And maybe bring that out a little. Uh oh, there's something moving in there. Oh, I thought I, <laughs> the way that was moving, I thought there was some dried paint, like that big thing I dug out when I put the pillow. That's all right, I don't mind that. It might go off the edge anyways. <clears throat> I'm super happy with this. So I, I'm probably just going to put a little bit of pillow here as I'm moving it over. Oh, I, I got to dig that thing out right here. Forgot about that. Just fix that a little. There we go. All right. <clears throat> now I'm good. I'm just going to put a little bit of a pillow before I transfer it over to the spinner box. And I am definitely going to be checking the camera to make sure it's on this time. So you can see it spun out. <laughs> I'll meet you over at the spinner box. All right. Let me bring this in to show you what it looks like before we start moving it around. Really beautiful cells in there. I think bring it down just a little and then bring this over and I'm gonna do a little spin just to get it started move it up that way This is kind of off center. Come on. There we go. Baby spin this way. I kind of like what's going on down here. I want to get a little bit off up top. It's a little busy up there. And then bring it back down. I want to go off the corner there if it's gonna allow me there we go now I'm gonna bring it back stretch it out a little and then we'll spin again Just a little this way to get this off just right here or at least just going over the edge just like that and we'll bring it back and there's still enough paint moving around because <clears throat> I want to give it one more spin but I kind of want to get it in place the way I want the composition so I think that's is good. We're going to do another spin this way. Oh yeah. That's coming in nice. There's a lot of green there, but I'm okay with that. I think I'm going to take some of this down here off just a little. Alright, just just right there. Bring it up. I think we're almost there. 
Still moving a bunch though. I mean, not overly. I could stop now if I wanted to, but there's just a little bit more I wanna, I wanna work with before it starts to get overstretched. baby spin. Alright. I think I want to go a little bit more. <laughs> I'm being a little picky. Alright. That's good. Bring it back right into the center. And I think we're there. It's not, it's moving slightly, but that's okay. I'm really digging this. It's like a rainbow. It's like a summer rainbow of colors. There's a lot of like this yellowy green up here, but I think that just kind of, I don't know. I dig it. I am digging it. All right. We're there. This is a winner, winner, chicken dinner. Oop, I shouldn't do that. And I like this composition, actually. I like it. All right. Here's what that one looks like. I'm gonna get cleaned up and I will bring you over for the flyover of this guy. There are so many different parts about this piece that I just love. I love these. That, that lemon lime, that bright green really makes it almost electric. And how these cells kind of, they almost look fuzzy, but they're not. And then I've got uh, overstretched a little here. It looks like flocculation, but I'm going with it because it just kind of like adds to the, the boldness and then the softness of it. And then this little um, soft piece here. And then this in the middle this stretch right in here, how it, those, it, what looks like, it looks like little starbursts in there. <laughs> those were actually bubbles that had popped and they popped in right, the, just the right places. It makes it just look like this, have this little starburst quality about it. I love that center. And then this right here, it looks like, it, it reminds me of a tropical fish. There's his eye right up there and then his mouth kind of um, where that little curly cue is and then just kind of his body and then this up here all the colors and just the that electric green in there just makes it really pop in there and then as a whole it's just I it's very it's it's not what I had pictured in my head but I think it's pretty darn cool so I'm going with it. I will be back once this is dried to give you the dried results. And I'm back to show you the dried results of the piece you just saw me do. And it dried beautifully. Some areas were a bit softer than others, but the some of those colors, they got pretty bold. <laughs> but overall, I really, I really liked uh, how it turned out. So here it is kind of as a whole before I bring you in. And it dried just beautifully and there's some hidden cells in here too i'll point out um these paints have a, you know a bit of a shimmer to all of them and if you can kind of see it a little bit in here i think resining and uh, uh or varnishing will give it more of a soft shimmer but they're really nice nice um some areas pretty bold colors i love this area right here And then right here, you can see the uh, the white cell activator kind of made white cells with the pillow. It's they're hidden. They're they're the hidden cells. <laughs> I love that. Trying to get it all in, and then up here too, just beautiful cells, very colorful. I mean, it's a split between really soft. The middle got really soft here, and then this. 
when I have it in a different orientation, it reminded me of a fish. I kind of like this orientation of it, but right here it reminded me of a really colorful tropical fish. Like his eye was right here and his, and his mouth and then kind of like the rest of his body going that way. So I saw that. I always saw, I always see some kind of animal or something in, in my pieces and that's, that's so much fun. But there, there were a few other hidden cells um, right in here too. Oh, nope. I showed you those already. But overall, I like this orientation, but then I also kind of liked it on the side too. Let's see. <laughs> it's a bigger piece. It's harder to move, to maneuver, maneuver around. <laughs> yeah, I like the way this flows as well too. And also with the fish kind of up here, I just kind of love how that flows. So it dried really nice. I don't, I'm not sure if I'm going to varnish it or resin it, but I think it would look really nice even in a floater frame. Um, so yeah, it turned out, oh, one more thing I wanted to kind of point out. You couldn't see it when it was sideways. Just the, um, I had, sometimes you get little bubbles in there that pop and I had a few in there and it just kind of made like the starry effect really soft. So I, <laughs> I forgot to point that out, but Overall, I am super pleased with this. Um, yeah, it's hard. I, I'm not even gonna try to show you the shimmer um, on camera. It's really hard to, to see, but they do. There is a, a subtle shimmer to them. So I really like these paints and how they mixed up. I'll put uh, Christina Welch's uh, YouTube link down below. So you can, if you wanna check out the Paraj Posse paints um, to get more information on them. So with that, I hope you enjoyed this video. I had a lot of fun with this. Uh, with this piece and these paints. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks so much for watching.